My wife and I were out of town the 1st of April. I can't remember the last time we were gone from the beginning of a new month. So we had forgotten what we usually do the 1st of each month when we got back. Yep, forgot the dog meds, forgot to put the goop into the septic system, forgot to check the smoke alarms, and on it went. We are about caught up now. Better late than never. You might ask, where were we? Well, if you saw the cover of the latest edition of Sports Illustrated, you know that all of Nova Nation was either on the campus or glued to the tube. Well, we traveled to the Villanova campus to attend the semi-annual Villanova Singers reunion. Just so happens our reunion planners always assure, assume actually, the Wildcats will make the Final Four and we can watch on a campus big screen. So for the second time since the reunion singing began, we were at Villanova for the Saturday game against Oklahoma. Had to change the banquet schedule so we could watch and get hoarse. Thankfully our concert was over so we didn't need our singing voices any longer. Shifting to cheering voice along with all the current singers as the Okies went down hard. You all know what happened on Monday evening at that game because that game will forever be on the NCAA highlights for the best game ever. But to get back to the problems of being gone on the first of the month. I decided to search the internet for things to do the first of every month. Now, the first entry was created by Sherry Lowe, who portrays herself as the queen of free. Hmm. She tells you exactly how to do these five things. First of the month. One, clean out your coffee pot. Hmm. It will work better and the coffee will taste great. That's a good idea. Love my morning coffee. Number two, clean out your refrigerator. Well, another great idea. Our reefer and freezer are usually stocked with expired or moldy stuff. Three, check your gauges. Now that would be your auto gauges. Since we have three cars between the two of us, there are lots of gauges. Tires and fluid levels that need checking. Got it. Four, she suggests we should pick out a book. Now my wife is in a book club so that it is an automatic for her. I, on the other hand, need prodding. I like to listen to books on tape while tooling down the highway. The uh, last hard copy I read was The Heretic. Got that from the Portsmouth Library. Had it read in two days. Didn't do anything else worthwhile around the house. But you only live the one time. Got the dogs fed and the wife out of the door in the morning. What else is important? Next up was another gal whose suggestions were a bit more expansive than the Queen of Freeze. Br'er Lamb suggests we should, and this is in the order she wrote them down, one, upload photos and delete them off your camera. Hm. Oh, so right on that one. Number two, discuss finances and budget the month ahead. Hm. You're kidding, Blair. Americans don't budget, and she wants us to pay off our credit cards. Oh, that would be nice. Number three, review your calendar and make arrangements if necessary. Good idea. Number four, make plans with friends, friends and family. Now I'm a planner, I married a spur of the moment, let's do it gal. Uh, that has worked for 46 uh, years, although I have no clue why. Number five, schedule appointments. I don't worry about that because every office I leave gives me a card that tells me when to show up the next time. Number six, buy birthday cards for the month's birthdays. Oh, this activity is exactly why we guys get married. Not my job. I buy the anniversary and birthday cards for the boss. That's it for my card buying. Number seven, choose a day or two to take off from work and rest. Hopefully. She means use some vacation time and not just get sick on demand. Now my wife only works three days a week now and I am a total slug. So I could use the reverse logic and find something to do that actually earns money. Ouch. Number eight, wash the car and clean it up. Used to do that myself, but for eight bucks I let a machine scrub away. Of course, the wax is extra. Number nine. Change your bed sheets. Actually, we change ours every Saturday. The hotels will do it every day if you don't leave that sign on the doorknob. Number 10, pick up the staples you will need for the month. Oh, this young lady says she meal plans and grocery shops weekly. But once a month, she buys another bag of flour and all the other goodies. Actually, we have so many staples hiding around our house, they can't be seen without moving layer after layer. Number 11, deep clean your home. Well, 
That's why we have a house cleaner every two weeks. Lastly, she suggests what we all know we should do but never get to do it. And that would be write down our broad goals and to-dos. I have a short list. Win the lottery. Thank you for watching and God bless.